Hi there guys and girls, my name is Ben Eflin. Today I've got for you my 1000 subscriber graphics pack. Thank you very much to everyone who subscribed to the channel. You can find this pack available in my free graphics room on my Discord server. I have included a link or an invitation to the server in the description box below. So please go ahead, join the server, download the pack and let me know your thoughts in the comments box below. I'm going to quickly tell you what's included in this pack. Don't worry, it's nothing too advanced. Everything's structured in a nice, easy to follow way. And without further ado, let's begin. You'll find that when you download the pack, it's one folder. You twirl that folder down, you'll see included is a folder called Examples, another folder called How to Use, one called Gradient, another one called Assets, and then one that's got little arrows pointing to it called It's a Triple. It's a Triple is a thumbnail template, very similar setup to my previous free thumbnail template, which I include uh, via a card on screen to my previous thumbnail template. Again, you can find that in the free graphics room on my Discord server. Because setting up a template for thumbnails is a little bit more advanced, I've actually included a, a really simple, easy to use uh, how-to image here, which is, is this here. And again, if you want to check how to sort of edit a thumbnail template, you can also check that video that I mentioned previously. If you open up the example image, you can actually see what the It's a Triple looks like once you have it all, you know, once it's uh, all filled with images and text and using some of the included effects. Everything you see on screen is included in this pack, so the social icons, the colour gradients, the lens effects and the layer styles are included in this pack. And I'm going to briefly talk you through each of them now. So just give me one moment to turn off these examples, turn off the how to use, and we're going to, like I say, the how to use already talks about how to edit this as a triple folder, so we're not going to really uh, look into this folder because it's, it's already explained here. But what we are going to do is leave it open so we can show you the effects against a pl reasonably plainish looking background. In the assets folder you've got, uh, well, we'll first look at the social icons. All these icons are labelled names. As the name suggests, you know, SoundCloud is the SoundCloud icon, PayPal is the PayPal icon, so on and so forth. So we can turn that off. These are obviously 10 Chrome style social icons for you to use. What you've got is lens effects. I've included seven in total. You'll see that even with the eyeball is on, there's nothing on screen. You've actually got to go in and turn on the eyeball for each of the gold colored folders. So for example, is to give a, an example of how to edit these, I'm going to turn on Effect 0 and Effect 1. You might not like the colour, so you might think, well, how do I edit this colour? It's really straightforward. Say I want to make these dots a different colour than this big, huge circle and line on screen. I go to the Effect folder, I double click on the Hue and Saturation, and I use the slider to change the colour and pick one that suits whatever, you know, whatever look I want to go for. It's as simple as that. You can obviously change the saturation and lightness as well. But that's how straightforward it is. All the folders are set up the exact same way. And like I say, there is seven different effects to choose from. The next folder down is the social icons, which we've already looked at. You've also seen you've got a folder called Battlefield 1, Mass Effect Andromeda, and Resident Evil 7. Now again, these three folders are set up all identically. So I'm just going to quickly talk you through how one of them is set up. And that explains how the other two are also set up. You'll see the Battlefield 1 folder contains a folder called Font, one called Logo and another one called Images. There are six images included. There is one logo included which is the official logo and then there's one font folder. Now this font folder pretty much replicates what the official logo of that game looks like. So in Battlefield 1's case, the font that most closely resembles the Battlefield 1 logo is Big Noodle Titling. I've edited it slightly to look as close as I can to the Battlefield logo. Uh, like I said, I've done that for the other two games listed as well. If we turn off the font and the logo folders, you'll see there are six images. All images are 1920 by 1080 and are just purely an image. There's no icons or logos on screen. So for example, this image had Battlefield 1 written in the top corner, so I've removed that. And the next image had concept art written at the top corner, so I removed that. And each of these images are just an image. So you can use these in whatever project you see fit. Hopefully you like the look of this graphics pack. I did put quite a bit of work into making it easy to use and easy to follow and easy to edit. If you did like the look of the pack, please be sure to hit that like button. It helped me out tremendously. Also, if you use Twitter, you can share this video with the hashtag Ben Effler. 
And lastly, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and it'll bring me even one step closer to my next subscriber graphics pack. Again, just as a reminder, you can find this pack as well as my other free graphics in my free graphics discord room. The invitation is in the description box below as well as all my other socials. I thank you for watching. I've been Ben. You've been awesome.